Hello everyone, we're on our way to go see Godzilla vs. Kong right now. Um, Adam's driving and Harry's there. Um, guys, what are you expecting out of it? Are we going to have a hell of a fun time or what? I think it's going to be very meh. Is this our content quality standards now? Yeah. <laughs> while, um, while we drive? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I cannot wait for this awesome clusterfuck. Yeah. So, me and Harry literally just recorded Harry our, uh, yeah, King Kong vs. Godzilla commentary. I had an absolute blast watching it, Harry, not so much. Um, I, my prayer is that I'm just more entertained by this than of the one made over 50 years ago. Why is it a 60, right? Oh, yeah, 62, yeah. Yeah, legit, 59 years old, oh my god. So, we'll see you after the movie. I'm very scared. Hey everyone, we just got back from the cinemas from the IMAX for watching Godzilla vs. Kong and back. We're here to review it. We're one of the first people in the world, cinema-wise, to watch this movie. Certainly are. Very and privileged. To review it. Um, so, got myself here. Adam, Harry's over far over there. I will <laughs> remain anonymous as long as possible. <laughs> so, guys, we'll go through spoiler-free review right now, real quick for the people at home. What did you think, Adam, about... Very fast-paced, easy to watch, very entertaining, dumb, dumb action movie, but it knew exactly what it was. Harry? It was great. Yeah, once again, I don't think I learned any of the human characters' names, but the monsters were cool and we, we got more of them, and in a good way, not like King of the Monsters. Yeah. yeah. So, overall, positive. Nothing spectacular, though. I, I think, um, for me, this movie is fucking nuts, <laughs> and I kind of love it for that reason. Like, everything I, everything I talked about in my How to Fix the Monsterverse video while not fully cured in this movie it would every single point i hit felt like they took a massive step towards fixing some definitely more than others but i had a hell of a time watching this one i think went by very quickly yeah it did it was and it is a nice hour 50 movie which is odd yes in, in an era that King every movie Mon is longer than the last and Recently, Zack Snyder's Justice League, which you might not have heard of, <laughs> has yeah. got a four hour and two minute runtime. Something under two hours was nice. It was really refreshing. Um, we saw it at IMAX, and look, this is a movie you have to see on the big screen. Like, it was stunning at moments because we were in the IMAX, the, it's popping right in your face, the monsters screaming in your face, the mm. action scenes. A lot of the times, it, it there was slow motion, but it wasn't gratuitous to me. It felt like it was there to show off the spectacle, which a movie like this... Was there slow motion? I don't remember that. Being... There were a couple of slow motion bits. It's because it wasn't sort of ham-fisted, shoved in your face. Like yeah. 25 minutes of slow motion in one movie? Minutes, yeah. yeah. A.K.A. Snyder Cut. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there are moments where like you hear monsters roars and you feel it through the yes. IMAX as well. That which was just kind awesome. of it brings you in a little bit more. It's it's awesome. It's it was intense. a four D experience. It was. <laughs> and, well, that's the thing. Sound design as well was incredible, as it has been for this whole monster verse. Um, yeah, I, I feel like, and the, for the first time in these movies, I kind of. Not fully, but I cared enough about the characters. And they did serve purposes rather than... Yes. Like, just exposition. They, they, they did I mean, their... the exposition was still definitely there. It was there. still there. Oh, it yes. was still there, and it, was, and it did have to catch you on, because this movie does quite heavily advance the world of the MonsterVerse in the time period, just between simply the last movie. All the characters served their purpose and didn't do anything more than that. Yeah. And there weren't more characters than there needed to be. Yeah. There was legit two human plot lines. I, I guess you could say one for each character, as it were. One mm -hmm. to figure out what's going on with this character and one to figure out what's going on with this. And they yeah. were kind of our 
owl like guide. Surrogates, kind yeah. of, yeah. Um, but I, yeah. They I didn't like waste there's... any time. There was no no filler at all. It was like, we got to do this, then or we're going here, then we're doing this. There wasn't enough filler for you to catch on in the moment it was filler. And this movie, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. This movie has the like Infinity War thing of everything has been building to this and therefore we don't have to waste time setting up other stuff. If you're here, you know what's going on. Yeah. And we're getting yeah. into that as soon as possible. And it felt like a great sort of, I guess, climax for the MonsterVerse, which I really don't know how they're going to top. Didn't It didn't create terrible human characters. It created... They were relatable and they serviced the plot and not in a way of like where, oh my God, the mon- we're here, so the monster has to be here for some reason. It's, mm. We are... Following them, we yeah. are there because the monsters are leading us, and they're chasing the monsters yeah. as well. It's not like, oh my god, what are the coincidences? You're in <laughs> Melbourne as well. Yeah, it's like the... you're destroying the Sydney Harbour Bridge as well. And well, it's like they literally had King Kong on the boat, so like they already had one of the monsters with them. So it's only natural that. Yeah, it's this movie yeah. is like I think I, I said to Adam when we left. This feels like a King, uh, a classic Godzilla movie in the way that King of the Monsters was trying to do it. However, King of, King of the Monsters took kind of the generic way of like, we're going to have 15 people in a boardroom all talking, but this doesn't work in a Hollywood way where we're used to different things. However, this was taking, I guess, good elements of Hollywood blockbusters and good elements of those Godzilla, and they kind of met, to me, created the best thing that the Monsterverse has churned out yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you still on the fence about whether it's 2014 Godzilla? I mean, I don't love the both, but like... Yeah. I felt, I'd probably sooner watch yeah. Godzilla vs. King Kong than 2014 Godzilla. Because I think that just purely based on what this movie was trying to accomplish, mm. it succeeded and succeeded oh, sure. with flying colours in, in moments. Like, there were moments where I was absolute giddy with excitement in this movie. It's, I think this will be more successful than oh, absolutely. the other one was because it didn't make a lot of money as they thought. No, it did, but this but is... also we were very lucky to see it in cinemas. So oh, yeah, well, that's also that true because of COVID. Maybe it won't make as much money. Yeah, I, I, I don't is, think it will. This is a big screen crowd pleaser, which is unfortunate that it's come out at this time. But it's it feels like yeah. the first actual summer blockbuster. Yeah. In like a good five years. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It fe- yeah, I had a blast. An actual popcorn. Yeah. Movie. Yeah, and something... It, it, it wasn't insulting. <laughs> like, as, like, we've got some bad ones recently. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, I, I guess they rushed out, rushed out blockbusters during COVID. But this one, I guess because we saw it on a big screen, it felt like we were watching it the way that this the filmmakers wanted us to see it. <laughs> on the literal biggest screen you can. Damn right. Had a blast. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Would recommend. If you can see if it. If you can a... see it in a cinema, see it in a cinema. Or an IMAX. If you can see it safely in a cinema. If you can see it in a... Yeah. IMAX is a 100% recommendation, given that we paid for child tickets. How much really? Is that a crime? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. How much were they? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. This is how they get you. Yeah. Oh, no. You're on film. It's on yeah. the internet. <laughs> Alright guys, so Godzilla vs. Kong, check it out. We had a great time. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you like, share, subscribe. We will be filming our spoiler discussion right after this. So, see you then.